Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with another Isaac Butterfield video, bro. American Vegan says Australia sucks. I watched all the Healthy Emmys videos on Australia. Uh, she seems like a pretty cool person. I know I was about to rip her apart, but <laughs> she seems like a pretty cool person. Before we jump into this, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Hi, honey. It's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. My name is Emmy. My name is Emmy. She couldn't handle Australia. She couldn't handle the heat. She got out of the kitchen and she's off back to America. And according to the greatest news publication that's ever existed, and is always very, very, very trustworthy, the Daily Mail, mm. she's also said that Australia sucks. An American who lived in Australia shared a giant list of things that shocked her about the land down under. What sucks about Australia? Oof. Oof. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, Oof. I'm going after <laughs> healthy Emmy. <laughs> you guys have missed the Australia videos. And oh, haven't we ever? Am I claiming to be an expert on Australia? No. Does this mean I should be dragged through the coals in the comments section? Honestly? I'm not here for a long time, I'm here for a good time. So if you want to poke fun at me, I'm the first to laugh at myself. Let's have a good time. Isaac, if you want to make a video about this, I'll watch it while I'm eating my sushi. Oh, healthy eating <laughs> the future. Let's go, Isaac. Isaac, if you want to make a video about this, I'll watch it while eating my sushi. <laughs> and she can predict the future. <laughs> well, I love Isaac Butterfield, bro. In Australia, everybody drives the speed limit, which is beautiful. It's so drives the speed. Okay, obviously you've never been to Bankstown. Well, they'll do a hundred k's an hour doing a donut buddy, <laughs> with blue smoke coming out of their tires, and that's just in the Macca's drive-through getting a large cappuccino. Speeding cameras in. He said they'll do hundred k in the parking lot. That's just in the Macca's drive-through. They doing these donuts, doing donuts in the back of drive-through. Hundred k a brown. So they said at the speed limit. Uh, but I seen in videos, uh, speeding cameras. Like I, I would say that I wouldn't like speeding cameras. But I've seen in plenty of videos where people were in the comment section. They were just saying you just. People only drive the speed limit in those sections. Once you know where the speed and cameras are, you're Gucci. You're good. That's the only time you drive the speed limit is when you get into that that camera zone. But outside of that, take it right back off. Australia Healthy Emmy, they save lives. Well, at least for the 100 meters leading up to the speed camera and the 100 meters afterwards, and then everyone blows it. But hey, <laughs> the politicians need those fines paid because how else will they have enough funding and money allocated into their personal expense account for heaps of mm. prostitutes when they should be doing Australian business? Uh, how else are they going to pay that Emmy without speeding fines? They're necessary. And for the record, guys, I was never speeding in a school zone. I don't believe you for a second, Emmy. I see you're trying to promote your vegan lifestyle with your fitness program. I think you're trying to run down those little fatties in the school zone. <laughs> I bet you're trying to run down those little fatties in the school zone. <laughs> uh. Maccas is what they call McDonald's. No, 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 stop. You Americans call Macca's McDonald's losers, all right? It is McDonald's. Macca's, mate. And McDonald's. the reason we get to dictate what you call it is because the first ever McDonald's actually opened in Australia in really? 1952. It was only a small restaurant, but its owner, Sir Donald Bradman, opened it in his hometown of Barrel. That's where the first ever Macca's, not many people know this, that's where the first ever Macca's actually opens its doors. The 99.94 .94 burger was the first one released. Then the Americans stole it. They went over there with Ronald and the big bloody purple dildo look <laughs> And they ruined it! Ruined it! People are always saying- Really? I thought, uh, Steve, what, Croc, whatever, what his name? Stole it from these other two guys. I did not know the first McDonald's. Ray Croc? Something like that, god dang it. Stole it from these two guys who already had the system in place and had their... But it was like, the first McDonald's was actually open in Australia. And not America. 
See, I watched the movie, and I guess that movie was just tripping, bro. I guess that movie, they was lying to me in the movie. Uh, because they ain't say nothing about Australia in the movie. I think it's called The Founder. I believe it's called. That's crazy. I'm going to Macca's, going to Macca's, going to Macca's. I was like, what the heck is Macca's? I was like looking up Macca's. I'm like, what is this? Macca's? And somebody actually said to me once, they were like, it makes no sense that you guys call it Mickey D's. And I was like, it's called McDonald's, MCD, Mickey D's. Mickey D's, MCD. Okay, listen, you Americans need to stop <laughs> inventing names. You're inventing Mickey names D. quicker than you invade countries. You're just doing a word <laughs> <laughs> so name. And then you think there's probably weapons of mass destruction in that name. So you go in, invade, take all the letters or oil, and then you turn it into MC D's. MC D's, you can stick it out your How about that? <laughs> That was dirty. <laughs> you guys <laughs> invent stupid names as much as you invade quicker than you invade lands. <laughs> Cause you think there's weapons of mass destruction in these names. <laughs> oh my Dad, I do Mickey D's, uh, I feel like that's a good nickname for McDonald's. I feel like, I mean, everybody has their different names for different restaurants. Maccas, I like that name for McDonald's. I think it, it's cool. Mickey D's, I like that name for McDonald's. McDonald's, I like that name for whatever you want to call it. God dang it. Pennies. The Australians don't use pennies. Penny, you don't need pennies, love. That's right? true. Why? How tough? Is your life that you're relying on penny, right? <laughs> and if you're smart, if you're a smart young Australian, what you'll do is you go to the petrol station, you'll fill that when I was young, I was doing tough, I put twenty bucks in, I put twenty dollars and two cents in, because you get two cents for free. Now over a time period of let's say fifty-two years, oh my god, maths, you're gonna get a free tank of petrol. That's almost two free tanks in a lifetime if you live to 104 years old. Yeah. Well, it'll probably be 118 or 19, depending on when you got your license. Exactly. Like, who gives it for free? I actually did not. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, pennies are not necessary. Uh, I don't know why we still do pennies. Pennies are not a necessity. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, I don't know. Realize this until the very end of my trip there. Also, what about the bloody tap and pay shit, all right? Who carries cash? I tap everything, True. mate. True. I walk through, tap this, tap that, I bananas willy nilly. I don't give it, mate. Good you don't point. even think about it. You just tap away. Tap, tap, tap a room. <laughs> I was actually, I was getting Good point. gas Good or point. petrol, as you guys say. And I still don't understand that whole game. Like, I. Mm. You don't understand the word petrol, <laughs> it's petroleum. <laughs> you Americans love shortening shit. So do we. <laughs> petroleum. <laughs> Cut her in half, you got petrol. <laughs> Uh, Isaac Butterfield be on her case, bro. He be, I swear to God, he be on her case, bro. The saying, that's okay. This is something that I should have known because I studied abroad in London and I learned this one the hard way there too is when you say thank you in the United States, people say you're welcome. When you mm -hmm. say thank you in Australia, people say that's okay. That's okay? I, I When people say thank you, I usually say no problem. That's, that's just what I say. Thank you, no problem. No problem. That's my go-to, but a lot of people say you're welcome, but I usually say no problem. Emmy, how do you have a problem with this? Thank you, no worries, too easy, that's okay. No one's freaking out about that, Emmy. No one's protesting in the streets over nah. that's okay. If somebody says that's okay in the United States, it means like, I didn't really want to do this for you, but like, fine. I, like. It's okay. Like, whatever. I did it. That's what it means in the U.S. It kind of means, like, you bothered me, but I did it for you. Maybe it's your fault. Maybe it's America's fault. Hey, nah, nah, okay nah, nah, weird, nah. Right? We're not letting her speak for us, Izzy. We're not letting... <laughs> I guess it depends on... I, that would depend on what reference that you use it in. If someone held the door open for you and you said thank you, said that's okay. Like, I wouldn't think it was, like... I wouldn't think anything of it. I'd just be like, that's their way of saying you're welcome or no worries or no problem. Uh, but, yeah. That's okay. I feel like the way she's explaining it and certain references can be used. I didn't really want to do it, but uh, I'll do it. Know what I'm saying? 
<clears throat> it's like when you gotta do the dishes, you you what do you one of you you or your partner gotta do the dishes? Like oh, I got it, babe. That's okay. I don't really want to do them, but you know what I'm saying. I got you. You feel me? So continue. That's okay. It's fine, and it's staying. <laughs> Aussie versus Aussie. This one got me rigged through the coals. I was Ooh. saying it like an American. I was like, Aussie, Aussie, yeah, Aussie. I feel, I feel that. It's Aussie. Okay. And anything else is highly racist. And just a hot tip. It may sound phonetically as Aussie, but it's spelled Aussie. All right? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, uh, I will say... When I first started doing Australian reaction videos, I did used to say Aussie. Like, because that's just how I read it. That's just, but y'all quickly corrected me and I quickly caught on. Aussie, 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 Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Talk to me. The use of the word toilet in Australia and in England as well. Instead of saying bathroom, everybody says toilet. And yeah. being a teacher, I would get asked, every seven seconds miss can i go toilet if you ask where the toilet is you need to do a wee wee if you ask where the bathroom is you're going to produce something a big goon <laughs> something the size of a small japanese man saw it he would stand there in a very racist accent say gojira and it's large okay if you need the toilet you're doing a wee you need the bathroom you're doing a poo. I gotta hear the way he said was standing in a very racist accent and say Godzilla. Stand there in a very racist accent say Godzilla and it's large, okay? If you need the toilet, you're doing a wee. If you need the bathroom, you're doing a poo. Okay. Uh Along with the driving on the left side of the road in Australia, you also walk to the left of people. So if you're passing somebody in the United States, you would pass them and stay on their right. I wonder why that is. We drive on the left side of the road, so perhaps everyone's just going, you know what? Why don't we walk on the same side we drive on? So no one up and just walks the opposite direction or drives on the other side of the road and runs into someone. Do you want families dying on the road, Emmy? Is that what you want? <laughs> Your uh, Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi in Australia sucks. I'm sorry. I love you, Australia. You're um, you're incredible. I'll say it till the cows come home. But the Wi-Fi is a no-go. Are you talking about our Wi-Fi? Are you talking? <laughs> you're 100% right. Our is absolutely terrible. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. Okay. And guess what? I've forgiven you for everything else for nailing that on the head and telling the Australian government they should be ashamed of themselves. Mm. Also, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks, and I just just have a great day. Emmy, stop being a vegan. You sound like a nice person. Wake up yourself. Bye. <laughs> hey, that was a good video. That was fun and funny. That's Isaac Butterfield for you, though. Uh, <laughs> that's how we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, d -Nia. Out.